The next question that we have is from KB. KB Rasta um, has sent us another measurement question. So this particular measurement question, I want us to look at it in terms of what it looks like. Let's go see what the question looks like that KB has sent us. This is what KB has sent us. Um, Simon uses the local swimming pool to give swimming lessons. The rectangular pool has a, a shallow section C. So we already know now, guys, this is the shallow section. Shallow just simply means it's not that deep, okay? And then a deep end, which is A, and then a sloping section, which is B. If language is a problem, don't um, pay too much attention to those keywords because if, if English is your second language, Sloping section is going to be a bit of a challenge for you. Doesn't matter. Carry on with the question. Okay. Let's look at what we are being asked here. It says that the picture of the swimming pool is over here. That's the picture of the swimming pool. And then we are given the swimming pool in 3D view over there. And then this is the sloping section. Okay. And then this is the shallow section. This is the deep end. So... That's the deepest part of the pool. Another nice thing that we've been given here is the dimensions. So we do know that the breadth of the swimming pool, the longer breadth, the, the, the deep end breadth is 2 meters. And then the shallow breadth is going to be 1.2 meters and so on and so on, guys. Let's go to the questions and not waste too much time um, on that. The capacity of section B of the swimming pool is 300 meters cube. You may use the following formula. So we've been given the capacity of B. Okay, that's the capacity that we have of B over there. Volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. Note that one gallon, again, we're given the key there is equals to 3,785 liters. One cubic meter is equals to 1,000 liters. Let's go to the questions. 3.1.1, show with calculations that the maximum capacity of the swimming pool is 365 cubic meters. Ooh, I had to think about that just a little bit um, in terms of how I'm going to calculate that. So I need to find the capacity, um, the maximum capacity. I need to show that the maximum capacity of the pool is going to give me that. That's five marks, guys. So what is the first thing that I am going to do? The first thing that I would personally like to do is find the height of this pool. Why am I trying to find the height of the pool? So that I can find this capacity and this capacity. I cannot find those capacities if I do not have the height of the pool. I've got the length, I've got the width, but I don't have this height over there. So my brain instantly wants to calculate the height of the pool. Let's go see if I've been given the height of the pool. Lekka, I've been given the height. There is the height of the one place. There's the height of the second place over there. So I can instantly go and calculate everything that's going on there. Let's first find the capacity of A. This is A, ne? This is A. So I want to find the volume of A. So volume of A is equal to length times breadth times height. What is the length of A? The length... The length of A is this almost is always the shorter side, right? So the length is going to be 12,5. I don't know if you can see the 12,5 over there. I'm just going to raise that. It's going to be 12,5. And then, so it's 12,5. And then the breadth is 2. And then the height is 2 again. So it's 2. The length is 2.5. The breadth is 2. The height is 2. And are these all in the same? Yes, all of these are in meters. So I'm not going to be wasting any time. 
2.5 times 2 times 2, it's all in meters. I didn't need to go and do any conversions. That's 10 meter cube. That's volume A. Volume B has already been given to me. I've been told that volume B is 300. Okay, something is not adding up for me here. They say volume B is 300 cubic meters. Something is not adding up properly for me here. So, okay, I can tell you now what the problem is in terms of what I am doing. It says that the top view, yes, let's fix that mistake. Look at this, guys. It says here that this is actually 15 meters. So that's the mistake that I made. I knew something was wrong. So the length is going to be 15 meters okay 15 meters and then the breadth is going to be 12 comma 5 because something was not adding up for me if this is 300 then that should also be a number that's closer to 300 let's fix that so the length is 15 the breadth is 2.5 and the height is 2 let's see I hope that works out for us. 15 times 2.5 times 2. 75 is a way better number. Okay. Seventy-five cubic meters. Let's go find the volume now of C. Volume of C. This is C, nice and messy. The height of C is going to be 1.2 meters. And then we have, because um, this, this is to us, this is going to be um, the top view, okay? So we've got that five over there, this five over here, and that height over there. 5 times 5. Is that a 5 or a 15? It's a 15. So it's 5 times 15 times 5. Fifteen times 5 times 5. 375. Very interesting, ne? So now I've went and I've found all of that. It was first 15 times 2.5 times 2. This one is uh, 15 times 5 times 5. I've got all my volumes put together. Now I must go and verify this person's claim. Therefore, the volume, the total volume, because that's what we want, right, of the pool, is going to be volume of A, plus volume of B, plus volume of C. Volume of A, we said is 75. Volume of B is 300. Volume of C is 375. We're going to verify this person's claim now. 375 plus 300 plus 75. 750. Okay, so this person had said to us, show with calculations that the maximum capacity of the swimming pool is 600, 765. So these are the calculations that we have. Okay, so that claim is true. 1.3.2, calculate the volume of water in gallons required to fill the swimming pool to 94% of its capacity. So the full capacity of the pool is 750. Now, we need to find 94% and then whatever we get, we then convert to gallons. 94% of 750. 3.1.2, 94% of 750 is going to be 94 all over 100 
times 750. Ninety four all over one hundred times seven hundred and fifty because we want ninety four percent of the pool. That's going to be seven hundred and five. Now, all we need to do is to convert those to gallons. We've been given this information. This is the information that we are given here to convert it to gallons. One gallon is equal to 3,785 uh, meter cube. Therefore, one gallon is equal to 3,785 liters. Okay, and then we know that one meter cube is equal to a thousand liters. So let's convert that to liters first and then to gallons. So 705. So I need to multiply those two together and it's going to give me therefore 705. All I do is add the three zeros and it gives me the liters. And now I need to convert that to gallons. So one gallon and then 3.785 cross multiply, divide. Therefore, 700, 705 thousand all over uh, 3.785 uh, 7051,23 divided by 3,785 that's going to be 186,000. 261,55 gallons of water. So that was me now finding how many cubes there are and then converting it straight into gallons.